here and as you see this long stretch of land which was used by the narcos in the in the 16th century when the Spaniards invaded Mexico and colonized them there was a group of people who refused to get colonized and did not give up their culture tradition and way of life These indigenous groups are called as raramuris and ham here in the state of Chueva here in Mexico and I've come to their village to understand them to see their way of life and to know how they are different from us. I'm Pramila Monterio, an Indian traveler blogger currently exploring Mexico. Welcome to my channel guys. The Raramuri is an indigenous group of people and Raramuri means runners on foot because they are very renowned for long distance running. These are huraches made out of tires, the traditional running sandals of the Raramuris. Look at the way they are tied firmly. And uh, they practice a very traditional lifestyle live off the land and in the natural lifestyles which means they live in the caves and the cliffs completely cut off from the city life so i'm walking towards one of the caves although a lot of people have moved from the caves and started building their tiny houses and trying to adapt to the modern changes but the change i can say only one percent you will still find people living in this village. Guys, this is one of the house of this Rara Muris. And this is the huge rock that you see here. And their house is right there where the child is standing. And this is the smoke that is going out. And they completely become black because of excessive smoke. Yeah, so this is the entrance of their house. Give me permission to enter their house, which is usually not possible. I think I'm lucky enough. So I'm getting inside the house. Hola, amiga. Hola. Hola. Oh, she's shy. Hola. Hola, okay. So this is their house, guys. It's just one room. You see? And uh, above this, you have this stone, the rock. So it's a cave. And here is the where they cook. The kitchen here. And the smoke, smoke goes all the way out. And here they have their, I think this is the bathing place. And their beds. The lady is sleeping there. And some things, the dining room. Hola. Hola. Buenos dias. Como te llama? Laura. Laura, this is what it is. Okay. So, if you can see the cave from here, you can see the smoke going out. And uh, it's a huge cave, guy. And I'm here at their shop. So, whatever they make, the handicrafts, everything they sell here. For example, look at these mini baskets and some of these crafts. And also, the clothing, the traditional wear that you will find here in small shops like this and also they are also selling some, some kind of herbs and spices here so this is the small shops guys that you will find in every village here and other handicrafts they are selling here Hola! Hola. Como estas? And look at this for example so muy bonita amigo See, all of these, all handmade. See, look at this. So some of these unique crafts that you won't find anywhere else but here among the Raramuri community. And there are so many things that... Is this what? Atrapasoño Raramuri. Ah, Atrapasoño. This is something very unique to the community. Beautiful. Right? And uh, this is where they keep the tortillas 
tortilla so you can keep it warm so this is again um, handmade skura okay skura huh? skura okay this is the typical you know laramuri kaur the traditional dress and this is how they look okay and some dolls out here some wooden lats and beautiful baskets for example look at this this is so beautiful okay so you have multiple of them so this is the smallest and then little smaller and bigger quanta costa hai ki ek este 50 50 so this is 50 pesos but i think this is just simply worth it beautiful what is the traditional raramuri women's dress and este ki naam re europa vestido bastido uh -huh. so this is called as bastido so this is a skirt and a blouse so this is a very colorful dress the women so this is the traditional raramuri attire gracias gracias the two little girls are selling here something este ke oh wow this is where the tortillas keep right okay wow quanto costa 70 okay so they are selling on this road side so gracias yeah. and uh, so that's how they do they make their own products and they sell on the streets and that was a house that i visited there that was a cave and yeah i'm going to the another village which is close by it's maria and maria is making a wrist band and she says it just takes 30 minutes to complete one and she sells this for 30 mexican pesos beautiful multiple color as you see here yes so much of hard work look at this these farms where they grow their corns and there's a huge shortage of water now hence most of them go to the apple farms to work and they seek employment in the city but this is where they live guys these are the caves but people have adapted to modernization now with change of times so they have built these kind of houses there if you see but in the earlier times they would live in those caves there the daughter here they're selling all these items which are made in their homes and these kids go to school people who are passing by this road they stop and they purchase the things from them so that's why you will see a lot of these girls standing on the road selling their things they have made and now i'm heading to another village which is close by where another group of raramuris stay hala so this is the catholic church guys which belongs to the raramuris as i said lot of people have converted some of them and uh, so i'm walking towards the church and it's raining so let me go a little quickly yes so inside the church now and this is built on purely stones and yes so this is the church how it looks like guys i'm standing here and as you see this long stretch of land which was used by the narcos in the 50s and 60s to land their planes when drug cartel was a huge thing in mexico at that time look at this place that was the raramuri of mexico a beautiful indigenous group of people here who have kept their traditions who believe in their culture customs and their way of life